Gentleman from Pennsylvania Reserves, the gentleman from New York is recognized. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I, uh, I, I must say, uh, and I have the highest regard for uh, my colleague, but anyone who would equate the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests organized over the murder of George Floyd and equate them with white supremacists like the one who killed 10 people in Buffalo and targeted black Americans, is equating that is irresponsible and reprehensible at best. These are not, talk about um, false equivalents. Uh, I am uh, nearly speechless that, uh, that, that we would even begin down the road, and maybe that says a lot about why um, the National Republican effort has changed so dramatically in just two years when this Congress uh, accepted by voice vote the Domestic Terrorism Act that we have before us. I also ask unanimous consent to insert into the record an October 15, 2021 Washington Post fact check article entitled The False GOP Claim That the Justice Department is Spying on Parents at School Board Meetings. Madam Speaker, we've heard this argument time and time again. It's blatantly incorrect. Attorney General Garland's October 4th one-page memo they keep referencing says, and I quote, in the coming days, the department will announce a series of measures designed to address the rise in criminal conduct directed towards school personnel. Let me repeat it. Criminal conduct directed towards school personnel. Criminal, not parents voicing opinions at a school board meeting. We're talking about violent, credible threats being made to some of our country's most important public service and their families. The reality is school officials are reporting more concerns for their safety as some attendees at their meetings have been arrested for physical violence and the Justice Department is calling for strategy, just strategy sessions between federal and local law enforcement, a task force, and dedicated lines of communication to address the threats and training for school board members and others who might be targeted. No intervention, no targeting free speech. My wife retired after 30 years as a school teacher. Can't imagine what school teachers and school personnel are being, the, the, the threats being uh, directed towards them for simply doing their jobs and carrying out the best interests of children in this country. They're being targeted in violent ways.